Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make better sound selection in your beats. Let's go. Alright, so the first step that you want to do is you want to figure out what vibe or what kind of beat are you trying to make. Is it a smooth, soft pop and R&B track? Or is it a hard trap beat, drill beat? Or is it something different? And the reason why I say this is because it's important to pinpoint what kind of beat you're trying to make because the drums and the melodies will help you portray and reflect that sound. For example, if you're making a smooth R&B beat, a hard kick that knocks and is clipping isn't going to sound smooth and isn't going to give those vibes that you're going for. And if you have a drill beat and you have a soft clap and a soft kick, it's not really going to hit hard, you know? The drums are what makes the sound. So I'm going to go for an example with you and I'll show you right here what I'm trying to do. All right. So let's say we're going for a smooth R&B beat, right? So let me look through a softer pack. It's kind of a soft. All right, let's say we're going for a smooth R&B beat. First, I'm gonna start with my hi-hat as an example so you can see the difference between a soft and a harsh hi-hat. And you tell me which one you like best because it's all up to preference too. See, that sounds kind of harsh. That sounds a little softer. I'm going to keep that one in mind. I kind of like the thickness. I kind of like the lowness. you got a male singer that's kind of bassy, a little lower. I think that would kind of fit the vibe. Because, you know, sometimes R&B is smooth, soft. You want some low end. So I kind of like that hi-hat. Next, for a clap, we want a more humanized clap. Not like an electronic clap. So something that sounds a little bit more like natural. That's kind of soft. I like that a little bit. I like that. All right, next let's find a soft kick. It's a little soft, a little too soft. Sounds not too harsh, but it hits. I want a little bit of a hit for this. And also your tempo should be reflected, but I mean, there's no box of what you should follow or what you shouldn't follow. So I know around 140 is where I want to be, but it doesn't have to necessarily be that. You can make it whatever you want. So now I've got my main drum sounds. I think I'll pick a bass too. I like that bass. Let me set it up. And then finally for the melodies, I'm going to pick some sounds that will be soft. I think pianos, pads, anything that's smooth, maybe like a realistic guitar type thing. So let me start out. I'm going to open Flex and make it with stock plugins, if you're using FL at least. And let's go on pianos. That could be something. I think that sounds a little bit more R&B because it's, had, it's, got that, it's got that reverb. Next, let's find a quick pad. Um, I'm going to use GMS. Find a soft pad texture. And try to have a vision in your mind when you're making your beats so it makes it easier to pick your sounds. And to do that, you can look at other tracks and see what instruments they use and use similar instruments to those, but make some changes and make it your own. Like maybe this is piano with a cool melody and you make a similar melody to that with the guitar instead. You know what? I think I can go with that. Alright. So, those are my basic sample choices. Now I'll make a quick beat breakdown for you. For example. basic stuff here. Next, I'm going to just lay down a quick chord progression.
and I have a bass in my mind, so you know, I match them with the kick. But you don't gotta match them together fully all the time. I mean, I might put some slides in. You know, I'll just paste the pad in there to add layers. I like to put my 808s an octave up, that way I could hear them better and make sure they're on key. I'm gonna do like an F sharp, let's see. I think I like the way that goes, put that octave down. Put them on the mixer track. Do a little quick effect. I'm liking that sound. You can dance with that. You know, it's simple. It's just two chords. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Add some more instruments, add a top line melody, whatever you want to do. But this is just for the purpose of the tutorial. I'm not going to go too deep into it. If you want to see me finish it, comment down below and I'll finish it. On that note, have a good day, keep making beats, and I'll see you next time.